What's up everybody, Jack here, and today I'm gonna do a video about COVID. Because this is something that I think that we all need to take seriously. And I'm not saying that you should believe everything or that you shouldn't, okay? There's a lot of different opinions that you can have about this scenario. What I wanna help you with is giving you a framework of specifically what you believe and don't believe so that you can form your own opinion. Because what's happening now is a big change. And you have to be very careful because if you're not, you're going to let your opinion about something that could change your life be created by people around you. You cannot just let your opinion form about COVID. You have to educate yourself and you have to spend time talking to yourself and asking yourself some very, very serious questions, okay? Because before you can have any kind of useful debate with anybody about a situation like this, there's a couple things that you need to either agree on or understand that you don't agree on, okay? And the first thing we need to talk about is death in general, right? Because if we want to show the seriousness of the COVID epidemic, then we need to understand the seriousness of what is actually killing people, okay? And for everything I'm about to tell you in this video, this is all based on United States statistics. I am specifically talking about life in the United States. I am not saying that these things are true in the rest of the world. I am just giving you information about death in the United States. So in the United States, as of 2017, one in every four deaths is from heart disease. Roughly one in every five deaths is from cancer. These are the main killers of people. If you die, there's almost a one in two chance it's either from cancer or heart disease. This is our reality, okay? COVID has killed the same number of people as heart disease in this 30 day period. This is reality. We can debate whether the statistics of death are true. You can debate that they're wrong and there's more. You can debate that they're, you're wrong and there's less. Either way, what we currently have access to, COVID has killed more people than the number one killer. It's not necessarily on track to continue to kill as many people as heart disease, but if you just look at what's happened in 30 days, COVID killed more people than heart disease. So if you're dismissing this as something like influenza, this is a really common argument that I hear where people are saying, oh, influenza happens, it's killing people all the time. In the United States, influenza is one of the leading killers, but it's like number 12 or something like that. And it's a fraction of the amount of people who are dying to COVID or heart disease. COVID is comparable to the number one cause of death in the United States. This is reality. So how do we respond to this in our understanding of the changes that are being forced upon us? Because this is where people start to deviate. People either accept or reject that COVID is a threat, okay? We either believe it or we don't believe it. Maybe we believe it for a time and then we stop. Or maybe we don't believe it and then eventually we do. It doesn't matter. All opinions are formed by how you respond to whether you accept COVID as a threat or not. And it also, your opinion that forms depends on who you think the threat is to. In my case, I don't, I'm not worried at all about getting COVID. What I'm terrified about is the fact that innocent everyday actions now could lead to another person's death. And this has always been true, but now we are being forced to ask ourselves, do we accept this responsibility or do we reject it? And that's another fundamental component in the different opinions about the COVID situation. 
Because there are a lot of people who are like, eh, I'm going to be fine, I'm not going to get sick, and they don't care. For me personally, I'm not worried if I get sick. I mean, sure, maybe I could die, but probably not. I'd probably be okay. What I'm scared about is the fact that if this is reality, that means that every time I interact in public, I am placing other people's lives in danger. And that is a terrifyingly complicated question to have to face. But it's something that we all must ask ourselves. You watching this video, maybe you don't believe that the death statistics are true, or maybe you don't believe that there's anything you can do about it, right? That's possible, that's fine. But you must have this conversation with yourself. Don't let your opinion form just by the bullshit you're listening to online. Ask yourself these serious questions. Have conversations with multiple people you know, especially people who think differently than you. Whether we want to accept it or not, our society is never going to return to the way it was. Even if all governments were to miraculously just be like, okay, never mind, don't do any of this, so many people still have this way of thinking that we will not have as many jobs as we had before. In the United States in particular, behind the scenes, before the COVID situation, there has been loads of time and money invested in artificial intelligence and various other forms of replacing human workers because human workers are incredibly expensive. And from a business perspective, it is a much better thing to use artificial intelligence and computer programs to accomplish things that you are normally paying a human to. And just to, for, to give you guys some more reference to the seriousness of this, and this is before all the COVID stuff, the, the industry in the United States with the most jobs is drivers, people who drive vehicles. There are more people who drive vehicles for their living than any other occupation in the United States. And guess what? The most highly funded automation is self-driving vehicles. For before this COVID stuff, there was already some behind the scenes stuff going on that is going to absolutely guarantee that we will never have as many jobs available as we did before. And then this COVID situation comes along and now all of these companies who are in these positions are faced with humans being even more of a liability because they can infect each other with a disease that you could be held liable for, you could be sued for how you're operating as a company. It's even more in your best interests to let your employees go. This is even more important now. We are never going to have as many jobs as we had before COVID. Whether you like it or not, COVID has changed reality and is going to continue to change reality for most of us. But please do not kid about it. Take some time, talk to people, form your opinion, but educate yourself. The reality is COVID in this previous 30 day period killed more people than car crashes, influenza, stroke, diabetes, pneumonia, and Alzheimer's combined. You are in a period of time where one thing is killing more people than six of the leading causes of death combined. And do not let yourself fail to understand the severity of this scenario. Best of luck.